Just a very brief video here, what I've got to mark with this stream and there's a plaque back there, I've taken photos of it the history and all that sort of thing here, it's very pretty there back there is very pretty um, I'm on my way to Bertle down here, this is a a quiet track I'm taking and uh, yeah there's another way back I'll be doing, I won't be going back the same way, not as far as I know I won't the church is behind the trees and it might come into view in a minute I'm going to definitely stop at some point and have my cheese I haven't stopped yet for a drink or anything to eat I did top up well before I came out though but the church had come into view there was a lady walking I've just given her a head start really so I don't have to wobble about too much but um There's a lot of cars about. There's the church, look at Mark, a bit closer. A bit closer. Like I said, I have videoed this before, but not with a camera like this. I want to capture as much as I can. Because I know these areas really well. Don't forget, I'm from Somerset. I lived at Barrow for nearly 20 years, and I'd lived at Burnham before. I know the Somerset levels, I used to cycle them as a child. And a rusty old bike with no brakes. We used to go out on the levels as kids. And we used to visit churches. I'm just really carrying on what I was doing when I was a kid. And when I retired, I decided to do the Somerset Churches Project, which I have been doing. I was able, when I had the van, I was able to get out more and um, reach churches I couldn't really get to on the bike, because it's either very hilly, too far away, because Somerset's a big county. Oh, God, I can smell the silage or the cider. It's where they've cleaned the ditches out. It produces like a... I don't know, a sort of peaty, cidery smell. Anyway, so what I'm doing really is what I started as a child, cycling around the levels. And it might seem a long way, and it is a long way back home. Uh, I just have to enjoy the beauty and say, it's well worth it, Sheila. Quantock Hills there. Back there is a cottage called Quantock Cottage. Um, and another one. Quantock View. Because right over there, as you know, I know very well the Quantock Hills. Which I've know by the back of my hand. Over and out. Right, further cycling on the Somerset Levels, everyone. Beautiful grass, beautiful clouds, beautiful sky. Over there. I can see the Dale Hill Fort on the Quantox that I that was, I did that in January. I see that mound there. I climbed up that from Holford, walked through it, had a brilliant hike that day in 2020. So I got one in in 2020. That's so my beautiful Quantox Hills. That is my sister Jude's ashes are up there somewhere. So I, while it's quietish, this is on the route to Bertle, and years ago there was once a train that travelled from Bertle to Glastonbury, and Glastonbury you could join up like, you know, Ibridge and all that. There was a big network around here, the station was right in the centre of Glastonbury. Ah, I've just seen Glastonbury. Hold on. Let me just get over here. I've just seen it. And let me just go up a bit. Right, it's very small at the moment, but we will get bigger. Look, I'll just zoom right in. 
There's Glastonbury. There it is. First time I found it today. It's quite a clear day, so we might get some brilliant views of it as the day goes on. It's beautiful. I'll take some photographs of it later. Yeah, that's a good view of it there. I can see it in the distance. It won't come out on the camera unless I put on zoom. It's difficult for me to manipulate the camera while I'm cycling, by the way. So I can't zoom in and out and steady the camera. One hand is on the handlebar. One hand is holding the camera. But it's the best I can do at the moment. It's better than nothing. And uh, I was just hoping that today, not that it makes much difference really, a lot of people are home anyway, it would be quieter anyway. It never has been really, really busy out here, you know. I, I most likely, unless I do a shortcut over that way, we'll be coming back this road later. Now the plan was to go what I thought was another road over there, and I still think there was one, but I didn't want to risk it today, just in case it wasn't. So, um, it's a possibility I have to come along this road on the way back to head for Brent Knoll and Limpsham, because that's the way I'll be going back. Not bleeding way, too hilly. I'll keep to the flat route. It's going to be a long day, but it's light, light evenings. You can do it. What's the rush to get home? No, there ain't none. I don't mind if I'm cycling along here at seven or eight at night. Now that would be too late because it'll be dark. I reckon it still gets dark. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know, but I reckon it's about nine o'clock. away for a little while. Get under this tree a minute. 